let's take a look at the difference between a simple and a compound statement. Simple statements convey one idea with no connecting words. So it is just simple, just only one idea and has no connecting words. While compound statements combine two or more simple statements using connectives. What are these connectives? These connectives are the words such as and, or, if, then, and if and only if. So these are the words that we use to combine or to join simple statements. So when you combine two or more simple statements using connectives, that would form a compound statement. Let's consider a compound statement joined by the word and. We call this the and statements. Now, if we have two statements that are symbolically written as P and Q, so we have, we consider the two simple statements P and Q, then the compound statement P and B is symbolized by P and this symbol here. This symbol is the symbol that we use to denote and. The symbolized form for P and Q is P and then this statement here, Q. Now the compound statement formed by connecting statements with the word and is called conjunction. And this is the symbol for and. Now let's look at an example on how we can translate from English to symbolic form. Let P and Q represent the following simple statements. P represents the statement, it is after 5 p.m. While Q represents the statement, they are working. Now write each compound statement below in symbolic form. So for letter A, we have it is 5 p.m. and they are working. This statement, it is after 5 p.m. So this statement here is P and is represented by this symbol. They are working is the statement represented by Q. So therefore, this compound statement here is in symbolic form is represented by P and Q. After 5 p.m. is P. The word and is this symbol here. They are working is Q. Now for letter B. It is after 5 p.m. and they are not working. You have to take note of this word here, not. So not is a negation of the statement Q. So it is after 5 p.m., that is statement P, and is represented by this symbol. They are not working is represented by not Q. So in symbolic form, it is P, this symbol here, not Q. Now the following statements here, these are the statements or English expression for P and Q. These statements here can be written symbolically in this form, P and Q. The words and, but, yet, nevertheless, they all mean this symbol here. So when you say it is after 5 p.m., but they are working, it's the same as it is after 5 p.m. and they are working. So they're just equivalent expressions. Another one, it is after 5 p.m., yet they are working. Nevertheless, this word nevertheless, it is after 5 p.m., nevertheless, they are still working. These expressions mean P and Q. You could use this symbol to mean and, but, yet, nevertheless. We will talk about or, the or statements. The connective or can mean two different things. So consider the statement, I visited London or Paris. This statement can mean exclusive or, or 
inclusive or. Exclusive or, what does that mean? It means I visited London or Paris, but not both. Or it could also mean I visited London or Paris or both. For exclusive or, that means you're excluding the possibility that you have visited both these cities. We define this junction as a compound statement formed using the inclusive or represented by this symbol here. So this symbol here is what we're going to use to represent or. P or Q or both is symbolized by this statement here. So whenever you see these symbols, that means P or Q or both. Now consider the following example here. Let's translate English to a symbolic form. Let P and Q represent the following statements. P represents the statement, the bill receives majority approval. And Q is the statement, the bill becomes a law. Then write each compound statement below in symbolic form. Now the statement, the bill receives majority approval or the bill becomes a law. This is represented by P or Q because this statement here is represented by P and the word or is represented by this symbol. The bill becomes a law is the statement Q. So therefore, this statement is of the form P or Q. Now the second one, the bill receives majority approval or the bill does not become a law. Now the bill receives majority approval is represented by P. This first statement here is P and the second statement, the bill does not become a law is a negation of this statement here, the bill becomes a law. So therefore, this next statement, the bill does not become a law, is represented by not Q. And the word or is represented by this symbol here. So therefore, this statement here in symbolic form is represented by P or not Q.